Hey guys, welcome back to Ron's Rides. I am currently at Daytona International Speedway in Daytona Beach, Florida. Uh, one of my favorite spots to go to shoot videos. Um, I'm actually bringing a video back from the dead. Um, reason being is you've already read the title, um, but I had a um, viewer ask me about my license plate lights and I, you know, went to check. I was like, you know what? I haven't made a video on this channel about replacing my license plate lights or number plate lights to LED lights and you'll be able to see them there. Um, I have it on my old channel and it was way back when that I made the video. So I figured I'd kind of update you guys on um, the LED lights here and just show you, um, you know, what I did to remove them and um, let you know where you can get them. There's two different versions on eBay. So you know this isn't a sponsored post. Um, I'm gonna link you to both of uh, the versions on eBay. But basically what they are, they're air code free. 36 millimeter um, LEDs. And I don't know if you can hear me well because I have the car on, it's hot um, over the exhaust. But error code, error code free means, you know, when you replace the lights, you won't get the error code on your dash here um, saying that your plate, your uh, license plate lights are out. Now, that's, you know, pretty, I guess, uh, important because um, you know, you don't want that error code every time because it just keeps displaying every time you turn on the car. Um, and with LEDs, they burn at a, such a, um, a lower temperature that they don't, you know, the computer doesn't recognize that they're there. It's almost like they're gone. It's kind of like tiptoeing through the house. You know, how is somebody gonna know you're there if you're not making any noise? <laughs> so it's kind of um, that reference. Um, so they are, you know, 36 millimeter lights and they replaced, you know, your old, um, I don't know what version of lights you would call those, but they're the soft white look. So with the LED, you get the bright white. They normally are offered in uh, 5,000 Kelvin 5K, which gives you that bright white look. Now, I know you're wondering why I'm doing this during the day. I just wanna show you um, how to pop everything out, um, you know, in the daytime, and then I'll show you what it looks like at night. Um, but, you know, it's the same color as your interior lights and your uh, floodlights on your bottom of your doors and all that. So you'll know exactly what it is once you um, go look at the back of the Ghibli. But I don't have my old lights to show you what the old ones would look like. But it pretty much, it just gives you a nice bright white look to match the HIDs in the front of the car. So we'll scoot around the car here. And sorry it's so dirty, especially the back. Just so you see, this is a 2016 Ghibli S for anybody who's new here. And this works for all Ghiblis. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Okay, so we're gonna pop the trunk here where you're gonna see your light assembly right up top there. You see those are the LEDs there. Okay, so it's pretty simple to get them out. The reason why I don't want to pop them all the way out because I've had a couple instances where pushing this uh, plastic covering back in, the, I pushed it in so hard to make sure it went in, you know, just because you gotta put a little force on it that it shot the light out and it got caught in the seal of the trunk and it was just rattling around in the trunk so I had to shake the trunk up and down to get it to come out of the hole and grab the light and put it back in. Now that was with my 2015 Ghibli and that was not a power trunk so it's easy to shake up and down and flap it around you know so if you do have a 2014 or 2015 if that does happen to you it might be easier to shake the trunk. This has an automated system, so it might be a little harder because it's heavier to flap the trunk up and down just to try to get that light out of there. So be careful with that. But let me turn off the car so I'm not messing with the hot bulbs and then I'll show you how to pop them out. All right, so removal of the plastic um, guard is pretty simple. There's a little etch right here in the plastic where you can squeeze a flathead screwdriver into. Just tuck it in there, pop and there you go, it comes out. Um, and all you do there afterwards is the two tabs on the end of the light that hold them in. I don't know how well you can see that, but the two golden tabs here, 
there and there, you just, you know, pry, pry one side off and it'll be enough to pull the light out and then pop the new light in. It's that simple. And sorry, I'm trying to get a good view here. But yeah, you just pull this out, pop it in, pop it out. I mean, it's, it's, it's as easy as one, two, three, guys. Um, but that's all you do. And if you get the right light, so which I said I'll link you to, you will pop the new LEDs in and you won't have any problems um, with the error code. And it would just, it's just plug and, plug and play. It'll work just like that. Um, so then you'll get your bright white look. So now this is the part where I was worried about. So when you put it back in, you normally want to start on this side. Uh, this has the rivets here. So it's easy to get that side in first. Okay. So you see that part's in and then you kind of have to like that. Okay. So I've done that before where it's the light has popped right out and it went right into the trunk. But yeah, so then it happens just like that. And you do that for both sides. Easy. You're done. Then you, well, let me grab my key. Then you close the trunk. It won't let me, I'll, I'll just do that for fun anyway. It won't let me close the trunk with the key in it anyways. We'll just do that for fun. Flashes twice, opens it up. Letting you know that you left your key in there like a dummy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so then you just, like I said, close the trunk. And set up the alarm for the car like a dummy. This is real life, folks, real life. <laughs> um, and then you're all set. So you can see I have the greeting lights on. So when I do unlock the car, the um, exterior lighting comes on so you can see what it looks like. Now I'll show you what it looks like in the dark. Like I said, it's a lot brighter than you normally would see. And it's, it's a nice bright white look. Soft, you know, soft white just wasn't my style. It's, you know, it's all about preferences. So if you want to change it up, you could probably put, you know, any other kind of colors in there. This, I'm sure that would be legal to your state because we're not trying to do anything illegal here or illegal to your country. But um, yeah, just research it online. Like I said, I'll pop the links in, um, in below in the description so you know where to get them. But I just wanted to post this because somebody asked, I think it was on my, um, my girlfriend um, driving my car, the recent one I posted when we were driving up and down through Daytona. Um, that you know they want to know what what kind of uh, license plate number plate lights I had so I just wanted to show you guys that um, so I have it on this channel because I didn't have it on this channel so now you know um, hopefully you guys like the video hopefully you learned something here like I said it's, it's simple you just get the lights get them delivered to you and you pop them in or pop them out pop them back in I mean it's it, it takes you two minutes so it's a nice mod for you know not a lot of hassle and I think it makes a night and day difference no pun intended so let's go take a look at what it would look like at night time So now you see the difference at night. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, learned something from it. Um, like I said, I just wanted to make that really quick for you and um, you know, show everybody what it looked like. Um, with that said, um, definitely give the video a like if you found it inform you know, informative and you want other people to see it. Subscribe if you wanna see more amateur Maserati Alfa Romeo videos. Also, if you want to just talk about simple mods you've done on your car that may have been a night and day difference i know some people they change the um the grill they add the um italian flag on the grill there so as you know red white and green some people remove um, the valve from the exhaust so it just you know it's always open just simple subtle mods that really make a difference let me know if you guys have any of those you've done until then we'll talk to you in the next one hopefully you guys enjoyed it Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for viewing. Thanks for everything. I appreciate it. Take care, guys. Peace.